taking advantage of some good screens by our bigs and uh, good opportunities to get in the lane, use the pull-ups. Um, got a step back, got into, uh, got into a nice uh, side pick and roll, pull-up three. So just trying to take advantage of some opportunities early on. Dame told me to be aggressive, so that's what I try to do. Did he tell you that before the game started or kind of after you hit your first shot? He sat me down. Oh, I didn't my top. Make sure that's straight. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Yeah, he's, we were just talking before the game. He was like, you got to be aggressive. And I have some moments where I'm a little passive or I'm just trying to, you know, feel it out. He was like, don't feel it out. Just go attack. So that's what I try to do. When you get it going, hit the first couple shots, do you know you're going to get the ball back? Does he kind of give you that? Yeah, look? I looked at him like, and he was like, okay. <laughs> All right, and he ca called my number a couple of times. But uh, that's, that's what great players do. They don't just score. They recognize, you know, who has the hot hand. And uh, he recognized, you know, I've been passive in some games or in spurts, not like an entire game, but there's times where I, c I could make a play and I kind of just, you know, I'm floating. So I just tried to make sure I wasn't floating too often and, you know, being assertive, being aggressive, and there's a scoring opportunity there and make sure I take advantage in an efficient manner, you know, getting to the elbow. Or if I see it's a hard hedge, you know, get around the hedge and make a play. The worst of the time, though, where you didn't take a shot for a while, I think you only took two in the third quarter. It reminded yeah. me Utah, where you started out really hot, yeah. and he kind of got on you that day. Come yeah, back. Well, the third quarter was different. You know, I was kind of feeling out the game. There was a lot of hard hedges and doubles, so you just make the right decision. If there's two on you, you got to make a play for somebody else, and I, that's what I try to do. I drove back to half court sometimes to see it, like, are they going to come out here? Mm -hmm. And then uh, Mason's looking at me like, throw the ball. <laughs> so I try to get it to him and then let him make a play, and I think we did a good job of, of making plays for each other. I had a three go in and out, and I got a layup block, but besides that, I don't think I really had too many scoring opportunities. Damien said that he, he thought that maybe the Lakers came out this game feeling like this this would be one of the games they could win. Did you, did yeah. you get that sense from them at all? Yeah, I know they got a back to back, and Kobe's probably not going to play tomorrow. So I figured that they would kind of circle this game as a as a win for them. We wanted to make sure that they didn't come into our house and beat us. You and Kobe had some words after the game, and you both kind of shared a laugh. What did you guys say to each other? <laughs> Yeah, I, I hate sometimes the cameras catch everything. <laughs> and I just told him, basically, you know, he's a guy I've watched since I was a kid. He's a guy I've looked up to and kind of, you know, modeled my work ethic after. Just understanding his appreciation of the game. And I read stories and just researched, you know, his, his, his work ethic, you know, him sleeping in the gym or him, USA basketball, you know, calling a trainer, trainer telling him, you can call me anytime, calling a trainer at four in the morning. You know, he's a guy who's relentless with his approach and work ethic. And I told him I just appreciated what he's done for the game and, and that he's inspired me. He might not even know it. But he's inspired me in terms of you know how I approach the game and just with him going through all that adversity, you know I got enough I got I got a lot in there in that, that short 20 seconds and just <laughs> just explain to him like you know I appreciate what he's done for the game. How do you think he played tonight? There's been a lot of talk about how he's, he's kind of maybe holding it down a bit. I didn't I didn't check the stat sheet yet, but I thought he was pretty aggressive. Um, he's, he still can get to his spots, you know. Still got some good elevation on his fadeaways, and sometimes it goes in, sometimes it doesn't. But I think he's asserted himself pretty well and. Uh, Look at the miles he has 20 years in. I commend him for you know, being able to come back from those, you know, usually career ending, especially after 35. Usually those are, some of those are career ending, and he's come back strong.